Hey, it's Red Bear's family diner. Well, be it either way. Other customers are waiting and enjoying their pizza. You enjoying your pizza today? I'm sure it's lovely and fantastical, just like every other. Man, shut the fuck. You know, I'm actually a guy under this costume. The guy who runs this fucking business. Yeah, me convinced. Thought you was a clown. <laughs> no, I deserve a little respect here. I gave you this fucking restaurant. I gave you that pizza, you know. I had to work my ass off in the kitchen for that shit. Well, if you want respect, you should respect your your customers first. Yeah, I, do. I want respect for my fucking customers. There's a girl. Walked outside. We kicked the rest out of there. She was being annoying. Girl. When? Uh, I think it was like uh, 10 minutes ago or something. Hold up, pizza. Got it? Got it? Pizza is so good and chewy. You don't feel like it, you know? You just don't feel like it. Does anybody know you guys have any arcades? I love to play Pac Man. Maybe Dunk Tom. Or Dunk. Basement. I'm in the basement. I'm in the basement. I think there's somebody down here. Please, you gotta get me. You gotta get me, Freddy. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Don't you worry, buddy. I'm, really I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, shit. Where, where is that coming from? God damn it, Freddy! Hurry up, Freddy!
Uh, uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, what are you doing there? I am stopping by the place. I heard there is paranormal ghost in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, but y you can't be there. That place is not, not just paranormal. It it's really haunted. It's got demons and shit in there. As if I care. It's part of my job to do just the very thing that I'm about to do. Investigate the paranormal. See if there is proof of the real demons that they claim to be at this place. Oh, oh they're real, but y y you're gonna die if you stay there. You, you can't be there. As if I'm afraid of a little warning. I got a job to do. I got bills to pay, money to make, and a kid to save. I heard of a missing kid report nearby. And so now I am on a task. Search for the lost kid and see if there is true proof of the paranormal. Listen, I can't have you by that restaurant. If you, if you go any closer, I'm going to have to call the cops. Wait a minute, how did you even know I was at the restaurant? God, wait a minute. Who, who is this call? Uh, th that's none of your concern. What is should be your concern is the detriment as to what is going to happen if you step inside that building. Now, I'm going to call the cops, and I'm going to make sure that you are to stay far away as possible from that restaurant. Otherwise, you will be... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't need to hear all that. I already know exactly what I'm going to do. God, well, why didn't he just take the warning? I can't call the police on a fucking paranormal. <sighs> It's another victim to the list. My name is Enrique Jose Moreno, and I am indeed a paranormal investigator on the hunt to discovering the truth behind the haunted restaurant at the corner house. say that the place has a lot of dead, crazy things that happens here, especially during the night, specifically of one paranormal demon in particular. That, the hood-wearing, crazy motherfucker, now believed to be a demon, haunting the entire restaurant. But no matter, I will find it, and I will bring proof of its existence. The majority of the people that work here say that they have heard or seen something there, down that hallway, in that room. And they say that it walks all the way this way. And then they see it on the camera, right here. This very couch. They've also heard noises in the wall, such as footsteps. Various other banging and crawling. They feared that he would come through the stairway, make his way down the stairs. And get to them, right in their office. The dangers of working down here in this environment is the unpredictability. Nobody knows anything. Anyway. What the fuck? There's a goddamn fuck. What the fuck is that? Hey, yo, what the fuck is that? There's a whole ass mug in there. No, like, is that a robot? What the hell is that? Animatronic. I did my research, and apparently it turns out that this thing is actually very ancient. According to the wise, it was a suit. An old suit. One with the leather jacket, rather than the nice classic suit that the new model has. As to why it's down here in the basement, locked in the back room, nobody knows. I think it's best if we leave that thing alone. It got aggravated when I yelled. like none of that now. It's gonna get dark soon. And that means 
I have to get to work. I have a I have a desk job. I have a desk job to do, task to complete. But I also need to check the cameras to make sure that no ghosts enter in my proximity. But here's the difficult task, right? Per se. that the so-called spirit exists and I capture it. What then? I didn't really think this far, honestly. Which I really should have. But that's, that's a problem to worry about later. The damn dog? Here's the thing, though. I think I've got this covered. Is there a restroom somewhere? I gotta do my business. But I'll keep you updated. I promise you that. I will make it out of this thing alive. Make sure that the spirit is put to rest. For good. And that animatronic is fucking destroyed. Because what the fuck was that thing? I have no idea. But all I know is that that was bad news. Bad news, big bad news. What happens in this room stays in this room. It's locked. Legend has it, the man died in this very spot. He was sitting here, face. Deep in his lap, when all of a sudden, the animatronic from downstairs heard a loud noise, came running up the stairs, and ripped his entire face off. And now his face is completely abnormally abstract by a bunch of blankets. Or so we could see anyway. So we found anyway. There's no proof of anything yet. But today I'm here to prove otherwise. Today, we are going to prove proof of the paranormal. Today, we are going to find the missing child. And we are going to see what the hell is going on with that animatronic downstairs. What is going on? Spirit! How do you feel? You know, because you gotta ask how the spirit feels, you know, I, I just want to know, you know, you know, people are very sensitive today. So, you know, I don't want to assume anything or anything, or like that. No sign of the spirit yet. Anyway, I must get to my laptop. Get up the data. The crazy things that happen in this place have all been documented. I have wandered the building for an entire few hours. I didn't come up with any paranormal events. Not until I saw, well, didn't see but heard a couple of strange noises. Spirits, I demand of you to speak to me. Spirits, I don't have all day. I got to get to work. Did we get that? Shit. Oh. That light wasn't on before. Oh shit. Perhaps the bathrooms.
This is getting weird. The banging in the walls and the stomping of the steps was very random at best, but the light being on, that spooked me. I gotta be honest, nothing about this screams restaurant. This looks more so like a house, if anything. How the hell do they manage to get so many people in this place? Let alone children. It's a scam, I'm pretty sure. Who would do such a thing? Who in their right mind would try to indoctrinate children, keep them in their household, to do whatever pleasures they want with them? Who would try to convince a child to stay and believe in fantasy and run away from home without parental consent? I can't think of anybody that would do that. It's too despicable, right? But the spirit, they say that the spirit was horrific, terrifying. I would be the judge of that. Best believe. My shift shall begin at 12 a.m. in the morning. There I am tasked with sitting down, watching a monitor, and doing some desk work, flipping through cameras to see if the so-called demon is actually here. I honestly expected more. More paranormal curses. But you know, you win some, you lose some. That is just... This is, this is my manscape. This is not the, the right razor that I'm supposed to be. As for the kid, no signs. But I do have a suspicion that he is hiding behind one of those locked doors that I found. If so, I will find him. And I will take down the spirit. Is that thing? Is 
lost. What are you? Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you little prick. Go the fuck to s- You actually made it? I didn't think I would. Well, I killed it. Where have you been? Well, he attacked me. You got him burnt to a crisp. Fires got the temperature up all over the building. We won't last long, though. 
but neither will it. We got to push through. Maybe we shouldn't. If you're worried about me. If you had any surprises for me. I don't think I'm in any shape to do anything about it. here a little while. See what happens. Ha <laughs> ha. 